Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this silver glittery cut crease look using the Too Faced The Power of Makeup Palette by Nikki Tutorials. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, but I used that palette to get this look. And if you guys like what you see and you are interested in how to get this look, then be sure to keep on watching. Also, before you leave, don't forget to like this video, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you guys and have a great day. Bye. Guys, so to get started, we are going to prime our eyes as always. Today I'm using the Eye Heart State Essence Eyeshadow Primer, putting that on my lid and then blending it out with my finger as I hear ice falling in the background. <laughs> um, we are using the Too Faced Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette today and I'm taking Ivy and setting that primer. Next I'm taking a crease brush and taking Painkiller and starting to carve out that crease. Next, going in with Makeup and Chill, I'm grabbing the same crease brush and defining that crease. Since this is a cut crease look, we need a crease. <laughs> and blending, blending, blending that out as always. Next, going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in light and a concealer brush. We are setting down the base for our crease, or I'm sorry, for our lid color, and we are also carving out the shape for that cut crease look. Some people compare this concealer to the Tarte Tarte Shape Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I've never had that, so I really don't know. But I will try to get my hands on it and let you know if it's a good dupe or not. Next, going back into the Too Faced Power of Makeup palette, grabbing some of that Silver Frosted Yum and a small shadow brush and packing that directly onto the lid. Going in with the um, Too Faced Sketch Marker Eyeliner and creating a wing as you normally would. Um, so normally I would be using a gelled eyeliner but I wanted to try something different and this eyeliner came with the Power of Makeup palette um, and it's already dried out. It's literally so dry. I was having the hardest time working with it and getting so frustrated. This is part of the reason why I hate felt tip um, eyeliners. I prefer just a regular brush and gel because it's so much easier and it doesn't dry out as quickly. But I was having the worst time. I, I probably went at this for five, maybe ten minutes. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX HD Concealer in Nutmeg, and we're going to use that as our contour today. I wanted to try something different since I keep giving you guys the same, the same thing. I do have other products. I just, when I like something, I like to just stick to it and don't kind of mess up the routine. And just blend that out with that's a sculpting brush and shimmy <laughs> then um, contour my nose 
I have to say, I have a love-hate relationship with nose contour, but I am trying. I'm trying so hard to get it down. Just like anything, like you have to learn the skill. So I am going to keep practicing. But going back into that Too Faced, um, the Power of Makeup palette and taking cho Chocolate Soule, I believe it's how you pronounce it, and setting that cream contour. That contour, that powder contour in the palette smells delicious. It smells like chocolate. I'm sorry, not Soule, Sole, Chocolate Sole. And then setting the nose contour as well with that same, with Chocolate Sole. <laughs> Next, going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette, and I already smashed one of the colors. Um, but first, I forgot to do to highlight my under eye area, so let's do that first. And then we always blend, blend, blend. That beauty blender wasn't damp enough for me, so I had to reactivate it. <laughs> Going in with Glow Getter. That is the look of disbelief. I really, I just, I was so angry. I really just didn't believe that anything could make me fall in love like that. That glow. I'm telling you, that glow. <laughs> You'll see when I do my nose, it's serious. See that? Like, it's gorgeous. It's so pigmented. It's so sparkly. Blendable. Buildable. Like, it's just so amazing. And we can't forget the forehead. And dab, dab, dab. I feel like when I do this, it just sets everything better. Now going back to that palette and taking both of the blushes, I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love. Blending them together on my cheeks. Each one of the blushes alone isn't the perfect color for me, but together... And when you tap off the excess, I just feel like it just works better for me. And set the everything. <laughs> set my entire face and eye makeup. Next, going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. And applying that to my lips. I thought at first that this color was going to be really pretty light pink and then I started to apply it and it was fuchsia. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe if I kept working with it or I don't know. I tried to build it up maybe to be darker. but it wasn't working. <laughs> so what do we do? We take some off. And just keep blotting, blotting, blotting. Until you're happy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe as always and have a great day. Bye guys.